Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a code orange overhaul of some of the early season items that I've been seeing coming up at Walmart and Target. And I was able to spot some items today that I have not seen online. Um, so yeah, I figured I would do a little video kind of just showing some of the new items that are coming out for the spooky season this year at, like I said, Walmart and Target. The first place I'm going to talk about is Walmart. Now, they had some pretty decent stuff this year. They were pretty low on stock. It kind of looked like the few items they did put out have already sold out, which I was very surprised by. Um, they had some really cute signage pieces, like little witch parking signs. Not all witches live in Salem some really cute vintage style signs i can really tell that they're trying to jump on that vintage style wagon um this year and i do really like it uh, it is one of my favorite styles out there they had some really cute little ceramic pieces they also had these really adorable glittery pumpkins that they had one that was orange and black and one that was black and orange and they light up they had some really cute banners and window clings there was some beware signs that kind of zombie apocalyptic vibe if you're into that and some really cute inflatables like inflatable lawn decorations for pretty decent prices none of their inflatables this year are actually that expensive which i was very surprised to see they had some, of course, you know, plastic skulls, eyeballs, like all that kind of stuff. They had some really awesome pathway markers, the ones that were like zombie heads and ghosts and skeletons and all that kind of stuff. Um, every kind of light that you would need, all kinds of strands of lights, LED, bulbs, orange, purple, spider webs, candy corn, like all kinds of lighting for the halloween season they also had a lot of party favor kind of stuff like paper plates and little like goodie bag stuff for kids trick-or-treat little knickknacks and things like that they had a pretty good selection of baking supplies as well sprinkles frosting little cupcake toppers they had these really adorable cookie cutters some little treat bags and cupcake liners they also had this really adorable cake pan that was like a ghost and a pumpkin and a skull one as well which was very cool over on the gift aisle they had these amazing pop-up cards there was one that looked like a spooky little haunted house one that looked like a graveyard these were uh, like astounding they were insane i've never really seen a pop-up card quite like these they were very fascinating to look at and i may be picking one up just to put it out on display over in the costume section i did spot a stand of false eyelashes which were so pretty they had some really cool looking metallic lashes rainbow lashes glitter lashes all kinds of lashes if that is the kind of thing you're into they had some really cool wall projectors that i spotted right before i left and i'm glad i saw them they have one that says red rum from the shining and then there's another one that says hocus pocus which i really love both of them way up on top of the shelves they had some larger inflatables they had one i really liked that was called the resting witch face contest it had three witches on it there was a really cute pumpkin stack and a ghost and over on another shelf up top they had a huge archway that you could walk through overall that's about it for walmart i don't think they're really going to be putting out anything else that special follow me on my instagram if you want updates if they do that's basically it not too crazy but still some good finds okay so next up i'm going to talk about target now let me just say target really is going all out this year i love their stuff i almost peed my pants when i saw that they had it out um i was not able to get any videos in the store because there was a lot of people around so i was just trying to take little pictures of things that i spotted here and there um so yeah let's go over that 
the first thing I want to talk about that I saw is the little wooden mantle pieces. They had some really adorable ones. This would be so cute if you had the whole collection to put on your fireplace. There was one that was a fun house, one that was a castle, a haunted house, and a cemetery gate, as well as a bunch of little wooden accent characters and pieces to put in kind of like a little Halloween village scene, which I thought was really cute. Moving down the aisle, there was a small selection of jack-o'-lanterns here and there, nothing too crazy. They had one that I really, really liked. It was a stack of pumpkins on the bottom shelf, as you can see. I really do like the faces that they put on their jack-o'-lanterns. They had them in orange, white, and blue. I'm not too crazy about the blue, but if anybody is into that, they have it. Another thing I spotted which I really liked was this little Mickey Halloween coffee mug. I thought it was super cute if you're a Disney fan or Halloween fan. This would be really cute for your collection. Over in the home decor side of things, they had these adorable dishes. This little bat platter, oh my god, I may have to pick one up because it is just so precious. I absolutely love it. And then another one was a pumpkin, as you can see on the right side. They also had a tablecloth, as you can see at the top, which was really cute. It's got that very kind of like simplistic illustrated style, which I'm really into this year. They also had these really cute little like compartment dishes, I guess you would call it, with little sections. You could put like chips and dip and like cheese or crackers, you know, guacamole, like that kind of thing. And it was like a really cute little illustrated dish. They also had a bat candle stand, which is like a little ceramic stand for a stick candle, and it matches with the bat platter. Now, everything like this that I spotted, they only had one sitting on the shelf, so I don't know if they're going to be putting out more, but it was very sparse, and I feel like this stuff is going to sell quick. They had these really adorable little stuffed birds. They're one of one of them was a skeleton, one was a pumpkin, one was a witch, and they also had these adorable little stuffed mummy sloth plushies. I thought these were really adorable. These would be great for kids. They also have a fairy garden type selection this year of these little miniature figures of little pumpkin people, witches, cats. There was a, a medieval set with a dragon and some jack-o'-lanterns and one that was like a cemetery with some tombstones and some trees. I did pick up one with the tombstones. These are perfect scale if you do the Lemax Halloween Village display. These tombstones are perfect and these sets are only five dollars. For five dollars you can get three tombstones, a gate, and two trees. Pretty good deal. Now, moving to the outdoor decor section, I freaked out over these tombstones they had this year. They were amazing. Their quality is so much higher than any other tombstones I have seen at any other Halloween decor stores. And they are for a reasonable price. Now, you're going to pay a little bit more for these than you would at Big Lots or Walmart, but you are getting your money's worth out of them, I can tell. They had these beautiful animated tombstone one was like an aquatic theme and it said sleeping with the fishes and had some beautiful pinnacles with like a snorkeling helmet on top it really gave me kind of like haunted mansion disney vibes with the kind of like funny goofy tombstones which i'm super into that and it glows a beautiful green they had another one that was like a medieval knight tombstone and he lights up and talks and it is animated where the mouth actually opens again these were so good quality i can't wait to try and get my hands on one of these i did not pick one up this day but i am definitely going to try and go back and get one they were just unbelievable i was very impressed with the quality and the audio of the talking tombstones were not that cheesy either brush your teeth after you eat your candy otherwise you could get a real bad taste of dragon breath the animated tombstones were only 30 dollars a piece 30 dollars that is not bad that is such a good price for a hard molded tombstone 
Now, I wasn't able to get a video of it, but they did have a graveyard piece that looks like a coffin with a hole in it, like it's coming up out of the ground, and it has a, you know, spooky ghost ghoul inside that moves around, and he says stuff, and it would be amazing in any graveyard display. In the home decor section, they had these really beautiful black and purple velvet skulls, as well as some other skulls. They had these awesome cloches that are just empty cloches that you can put whatever you want inside. Now, I know a lot of other people are really into the ghoulish garden, which they do have that as well. I did not get any photos of that, but just go to Target.com and search ghoulish garden and you'll get all of that. They had this really awesome black tentacle candelabra, which I was kind of into. I was kind of digging it, as well as these awesome hand ceramic candle holders. These are super creepy. Um, not going to lie, they kind of creep me out, but I totally want some. I've seen other people be putting these on their tables for like their dining room, and it looks so creepy and so cool. I love it. They also had this really cute black gothic cake plate, which would be great for gingerbread houses or cakes or cupcakes or whatever, but I thought it was really cute. And that's about it for today. I hope this video was helpful and that it kind of helps you guys judge what you want to get. Uh, I know some of these early season items that are popping up are going to sell out really quick. So if there's some things you saw, you might want to go ahead and try and grab them. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, happy haunting.